I saw you in heaven Would it be the same If I saw you in heaven I must be strong And carry on Cause I know I don't belong Here in heaven Drew James here from LearnGuitarInLondon.com and I am playing Tears in Heaven by Eric Clapton. This is actually the unplugged version that he did. I've left a link right now in YouTube cards and it'll be a link in the video description so you can watch that version. It's just incredible. He plays it on a classical guitar and just sounds great. So I'm, I've based my lesson on his version, on that particular version, sorry. Um, I'm going to be taking through the whole song showing you each part in detail. Now that does mean that it's too much to fit into one lesson. So I'm gonna get as much as I can done today. The other part of this lesson will be available for free over at my website, specifically in the student area of my website. Now the student area is completely free. It just takes a name and an email address. All you need to do is click the link in the video right now or the link below to watch part two for free. You just need to fill in your name and email address and you'll then get added to uh, my guitar tips mailing list where you get sent out tips to make you a better guitarist, essentially. Um, then we, you can, we can learn the whole song, okay? So let's get stuck in and learn how to play it. Let's have a look at the f intro a little bit slower. Okay, so before I go any further, this is an intermediate guitar song, so if you haven't been playing guitar very long, you're gonna find this quite challenging to play. However, my advice is if you love a song enough, you'll do anything possible to learn it, even if you don't have the muscles now, perhaps one day. So start giving it a go and see what happens. So to start with, we're playing an open on the thickest string. This song is all finger style, okay? So thumb plays the top three strings, index, middle, and ring play the G, B, and the E string. We play the open E string, Eddie, eight, dynamite, goodbye, Eddie. E, and hammer to the second fret on the E string. And I'd like you to use your index finger to do that. So hammering means you play the string and then with your finger, you slap it, hammer it in to the string rather than going, picking it, we slam it into the thumb. So that's the beginning. Then play open on the A string. Then make a little mini bar chord on the bottom three strings. On the second fret, okay? So you can see I'm pressing down the bottom three strings here with my thumb around the back so that those strings are all being pressed down like my index finger is like a capo. And then you're gonna play the G string on the second fret, which your bar is making. And then you're gonna play the middle finger to make a two or so. Then as soon as you play that two, you're going to hit the third fret with your middle finger as a hammer on. So you go two, then hammer into third. So I'm not going, I'm hitting, hammering. Then I'm gonna flick away. Pick, hammer, dig my callus in, flick away to reveal back to two. So never ever lift up this when we're doing this. Otherwise you'll get this and it will just sound dead. So we've got so far. And we flick away. So pick, hammer, pick, pick, pick hammer flick then index finger back on the two on the G string it's called a 
triplet that part there. Okay, good so far. That's one of the hardest bits in the song, followed by this next part. Next, you're going to bring the index finger away from the second fret and look, go to the fourth fret. Press down the everything, the whole, all the strings as a bar chord, okay? All the four strings. Put your middle finger also on the fifth fret on the B string. So that's the fifth string down. And you're gonna pinch thumb on the thickest, index and middle. And you'll get this sound. So, so far we've got. Very important, while you're playing this bit, look at the fourth fret to get you prepped up to do this chord, which is a challenging chord. Then thumb on the thickest after that. And then pinching just that index and middle. So that part when you go to it is big pinch, thumb on the bass, pinch, just index and middle. Then move back down to a full bar on the second fret of the strings, playing thumb on the thickest, index and middle. That'll be a theme in this song. We'll be doing that a lot, that pinch. So from this five and four, from the beginning of the song, slowly. Okay, now when you stay there, you're then gonna play thumb on the thickest, index and middle is a pinch, then thumb on the thickest, then let go of your pinch, Move back down to a mini bar. This is how I've been playing it. Optionally, you could use middle and ring finger. Then pinching thumb on the thickest now, which is now on a zero. Pinching those, then thumb by itself, then index and middle, then thumb by itself. So from this part, it's pinch, thumb on the bass, pinch, thumb on the bass, mini bar, thumb on the bass, pinch. Okay, so I'll play everything we've got so far. So really important just to keep recapping with me, mainly because it's quite a challenge. Okay, good so far. So please work on that. That could be enough for a lesson in itself. Next, ring finger on the third fret on the B string, middle finger on the second fret on the G string, and index finger on the second fret on the E string. Additionally, you can play it like this with your thumb over, but I prefer to do it like this. Pinch those, big pinch, thumb index middle. Whenever I say a big pinch from now on, that means thumb index and middle together, thumb on the bass note. So big pinch, thumb on the bass, pinch, thumb. So it's Do that for you slowly. Lift up to the open string. Leave these fingers here though. Play the open string, open string again. Then leave the ring finger there, but index finger on the first fret on the G string. And we give that a pinch. So slowly that part is. Okay, very good so far. Then, to a regular A chord, so second fret on the B, G, and the E string. We're then gonna play those. Big pinch, thumb on the bass on the A string. Pinch, thumb on the bass, pinch, thumb on the bass, pinch. And now from the beginning of the song. I noticed I brought my thumb over that time. It just depends which one you want to do. That's what just as good, that can also work. So once you've done that, um, we've then got, so at the end of the A, 
We're then going to go around in a circle. But we're not going to go... You'll be probably be glad to hear. This time it's just index, middle, index. Now, Clapton throughout that performance variates and makes a variation between doing this or... So, up to you which one you want to use, but the second time round when you start singing, it's the little mini bar. So thumb on the bass, index, middle, index, then up to this five and four. No, and that's the same as we've already played. No, we've done all this already. If I saw you. Now this has a little variation. So once he does this chord that we've just been working on. So, a little bit of a change. From this flattened finger here, we're then bringing the thumb, we're, we're bringing, making this chord shape like we had before. Then moving to this just middle and ring on the second fret on the A and the, on the G and the B string. Pinch that, big pinch, thumb, then Big pinch, but on the bottom three strings. This little detail sounds lovely. Adding in that open E string. So from the beginning of that bar, it's... See, it sounds really nice. If I saw you in... If I saw you in... Okay, so I'm going to go from when the singing starts very slowly so you can see it all threaded together. Heaven, we've got a different thing here. So we're first fret on the G string. Give that a pinch, index and middle. Then thickest string, then do that again. Then thickest string. Then second fret now on the D and the G, the G and the B to make an A chord. And then third and fourth fret on the B and the G. So that bar slowly is first fret, first fret, second fret, third and fourth fret. Okay, we then repeat everything again, but this time we're not going to do the, we're just going to go straight into, so from this, would you know, so we've already learned this, little mini bar, would you, up to this fifth fret chord, open string on the pinches, if I saw you in, then the same thing again, heaven. Okay, well done so far. You know, that's already a lot of information to take in. So give yourself a pat on the back if you've managed to keep up with me so far, because that's terrific. Now, next part, we've got this chorus. It's just um, six bars to do. So we've got the full bar again on the second fret. We're gonna pinch thumb, index and middle, then thumb on the bass, then index and middle, thumb on the bass, we do that three times, pinch, thumb on the bass, index, middle, pinch. Then we're going to go to an open string at the end of the bar. One and two and three and four and to that open string. Then thumb over to the first fret on the thickest string, index finger on the first fret on the G string, and ring finger on the second fret on the B string, you might find it easier to do that, some people would, but I personally prefer to do it like this. Give that a big pinch, thumb, index and middle, then thumb by itself, index and middle. So we start with a big pinch, then thumb by itself, index and middle, thumb by itself, index. Okay, so so far we had Then lift up everything apart from that ring finger. Leave that on the second fret where it was. It might be a bit awkward to do that. Sometimes the middle finger is more comfortable, but um, just leave the ring finger there for now. Second fret on the B string. 
Give it a big pinch, then thumb on the thickest, pinch, thumb on the thickest. Then put the little finger down on the third fret on the B string, give that a big pinch. With the thumb, index, middle and ring, it sounds great. Thumb on the thickest string. So if I do from the beginning of that, at the end I'm just going to this index and middle. And then so if, go from the beginning of that now. So from the bar of the F. Very good. Then this, I like to do this as another bar on the second fret, and then just putting the middle finger on the third fret on the third string down, the G string. Oh. And you've got a pinch thumb, index on the D string, breaking the finger picking rule, and middle finger on the G. And we go one, two, cause And that's just the second fret on the B that I'm adding in there, so it's then leaving your bar finger held down, you're going to make what's known as a B minor 7 chord. So barring the bottom five strings on the second fret, so not moving too far from where we just were, in fact not moving at all, middle finger on the third fret on the B string and ring finger on the fourth fret on the D string. That's your chord. Hopefully you can see that there, right? You're going to pinch that thumb on the A, index and middle, then thumb on the bass note, index and middle, thumb on the bass note. Then pinch it again, then thickest string. So I'll do that slowly because it's quite important to get this right in the song. Okay. Then leave that chord held down and just pinch. But this time thickest string, index and middle. On the, on the video at the beginning, I sometimes do it this way. I lift everything up, but you don't really need to. It's still just third and second fret, but we're just using the thickest string of our pinch. So it's. So I'll do that again. And now I'll join it in from that B7, B minor 7. No, I don't belong here in heaven. And then you're doing exactly the same as we did in the intro. So, that is everything. We've still got the midsection to do, and that really lovely little twiddly ending part that you heard me do which I will show you how to play in part two. Don't forget to uh, sign up to the student area to watch that instantly right now.